the rim, the rim just been here. That was awesome. I didn't expect that at all. Hi, I'm really excited today because I'm back in the forest and I'm going to photograph the birds and hopefully the red squirrel will come. It's been a long time since I've been in this forest to photograph the red squirrels, so I have no idea if it can show up, but let's hope. The bad thing today is my microphone is there is something wrong. I guess it's the battery and I don't have a spare. So I need to use the microphone in the camera and hopefully that will not be too bad. Yeah, but let's go. Okay, I'm in place and hopefully there will come some birds and the rest grow. I'm really excited today. So long since I've been here in the forest, so always great to come back here. So I'm rigged by the pool uh, that I have, you have seen from my other videos. Um, so hopefully I will get some reflection in the water. And I also have uh, <clears throat> placed some leaf in the foreground so uh, it will be a little bit different in the foreground. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but I have to try it out and see if it, uh, it's gonna be a, a good uh, picture. Yeah, but this is really, really great. There's a lot of waiting. A lot of waiting. But it's so exciting, so exciting to to wait. And if the wildlife shows up, it's so cool. I thought I heard a red squirrel, but I'm not sure if there was just uh, trees cracking. So I'm using the 300 today. I was thinking about maybe take the 500. Um, but I didn't know how much light it's going to be today because there was a forecast for uh, heavy overcast but it's actually a little lighter than uh, the forecast was uh, telling me but uh, so I take the I took the 300 with me and so I get a 2.8 so I'm using that 2.8 and I have ISO uh, 800 uh, and I also have um, the shutter speed at around 400 of a second and it's changing because I'm using the priority A uh, so I'm choosing the f-stop and the camera choose the shutter speed and I use that mainly in all my situations so um, and maybe some of you will say why don't you use manual but yeah I'm used to uh, how my camera handle the priority A priority mode and uh, I, I think I, I'm changing things faster in that mode. In, in, uh, if I should use the manual, I think I would fumble a lot more. So, yeah. But uh, this is a good uh, setting. So, and I also have the the focus mode in continuous focus. Uh, so, because the squirrel or birds you know, or whatever comes in my in front of me will move a lot so I'm always need to focus and have them to to um, to focus on the head so. Second smallest bird in Norway. Really cool bird. The 
winter run was really cool uh, surprise I didn't expect that at all but I got I think I got some good pictures of them singing and uh, yeah that was awesome I was just going to say that I'm having a really great time with the Winter Wren, being all over the place, singing, and yeah. And I was going to say that I don't care if the squirrel did, didn't show up or, yeah, because this was a really great time with the Winter Wren. But just as I'm going to say, two red squirrels appeared right in front of me. Wow, that was so cool. I love being in the forest. I love the forest. It's so much cool birds and wildlife and yeah. It's just good to be out and get some fresh air and enjoy and take it all in. So uh, for me, the, I'm working full time uh, and also has photography and the YouTube in uh, on the side. And so I work a lot and therefore I love just to come out and being out in nature. And you feel so relaxed and your battery is charging and yeah. That is the best. Okay, I think I'm done now. Um, I've been here for a while and I need to go to work. I would love to hear from you. What, what places are you the most comfortable? Which places do you like the most? Is it the forest? Is it mountains? The coast? Uh, where, is, where is your place to go and just relax and enjoy nature, wildlife, birds? I love to hear that from you. But I had a really great time and I hope you uh, enjoyed it as well. So if you're new here, I hope you consider subscribing, give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Bye.